<clears throat> hey guys! What's up? That was the weirdest intro of my entire life. You're welcome. Welcome back to the Mombi Year. This is week 20. This is Alex. And wow, lots going on this week. So obviously this past um, this past week or two days ago um, was the one year anniversary of the helicopter crash, which obviously um, killed Kobe Bryant and, and you know the six six others, seven others. Um, so just a lot of um, stuff about that was kind of obviously out there and all of that. And so um, great to see everyone kind of remembering and just kind of constantly just, you know, pulling inspiration um, from Kobe and his whole legacy. So um, can't believe it's already been a year. It's just crazy, crazy business. Uh, but it's week 20. We're just going to talk real quick about the quote of the week. I like this one. This one's a good one. The quote is, I can't relate to lazy people. We don't speak the same language. I don't understand you. I don't want to understand you. And I think there's so many good things coming from this quote. Um, I like the video of him actually saying this quote is good. Um, but anyway, lazy, the word lazy is, it's just got, you know, you can be, la you can be lazy in a lot of different ways. And I think that um, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to get into kind of like who do you, who do you want deciding who you want to be and putting yourself in the situation and in the places that allow you to become that person. So if you are, um, if you have specific goals or if you have anything that you're striving for, shooting for, surrounding yourself with those kinds of people who will help you get there. And it's not just by like, that like you're gonna try to surround yourself with these people like so they can help you. They don't really have anything to do with it, but it just being around those kind of people is what is going to help you succeed. And it's like that quote that's like, you are the combination of the five people that you spend the most time with. Like that is 100% true. So there's a big, like you can control a lot of things. There's a lot of things you can control, but there's a lot more that you can control than you think. And one of the greatest examples that I have come, that has come up into my head recently um, is just, for example, like say that you have goals and you want to get better um, in your fitness and you go to group training classes. Um, you go to your group training classes, you can't control who shows up for class, you can't show up control um, anything about the workout, about anything. All you can control is like where you put yourself and you can control where, you know, how you focus your energy. And it's just, you know, for example, like if you show up and you set up at your workout station, if you set up next to your friend who maybe doesn't push as hard um, for whatever reason, not saying that's good or bad, but it just doesn't align with your goals or, you know, you can put yourself strategically next to that person that you always see crushing it and going so hard. And that's going to give you two different like mindset mentalities. Like when you're going on, um, you know, on that max pace, if you see the person next to you, like cranking it up a notch and going faster, like that helps you just to kind of like take it up to the next level versus if you've got the person next to you and they slow down or they stop and they just quit and give up, that can kind of impact you a little bit. Um, whether or not that changes like what you're doing, it can kind of like subconsciously, um, you know, impact you. And I think it's just like those little choices and those little interactions like over time that really um, make a big impact on you. So just making as many choices as you possibly can to surround yourself with the people and the energy that are going to give you the, the, the biggest chance to help you. Because the more energy that you can use to further yourself and the less energy that you have to use trying to, um, you know, fight bad habits or fight, um, you know, bad energy, then the more energy that you have to, to, to do better. So, um, just trying to control as much as you can control. And, um, yeah, that was something that kind of like, I don't know how I necessarily related that to the quote about how he can't relate to lazy people. Um, but yeah, he's like, we don't speak the same language. It's just like a totally different mindset and just working to get yourself in the mindset of, always being better, always pushing. And I think something like Gary Vee said something and someone was like, like laziness isn't like anything except like that you're bored. I, I don't remember. Maybe that wasn't it. I don't know. 
but it's like you're lazy like when you don't want to do something so like don't be lazy in the things that you really want to do and don't do things because you feel like you have to or whatever that are going to cause you to just like give a half effort if you don't want to be a runner then don't put energy into trying to run and you know just for example like in like a dumb example but put your energy into something that you actually want to do so you can you can go in all in, all in instead of just like trying to lazily like oh like I'm gonna I'm gonna try to run or whatever and then just like being lazy about it and like that can kind of like seep into you everywhere else so for the things that you can control do things that you want to do don't do things that you don't want to do don't do things that you're only going to put in half effort whether that's a job or a, a fitness or whatever it may be so that's it Bye. See you next week.